In Northeast Jersey's 9th Congressional District, a race is on between a seasoned veteran and an unlikely contender. In a campaign that's been marked by heated debates, strange ads, and a brutal Democratic primary, I sat down with the candidates to talk about the state of the campaign and the congressional landscape in America. Rabbi Shmuley Bateyak is one of the nation's few celebrity rabbis, a former reality TV show host, and a New York Times best-selling author of over 20 works of nonfiction. Now, he's running for Congress as a Republican in a traditionally Democratic district and insists that the incumbent Democrat doesn't take a Republican challenger seriously. If you don't go out to work for people's vote, if you assume that because there's a D in front of your name, then you're being contemptuous of the voters. There's no question about that. Congressman Bill Pascrell has served eight terms in the House of Representatives, and he says he's taking nothing for granted. All I know is I have between eight and 12 events a day. Anybody that has even implied that I'm taking this election for granted doesn't know what they're talking about, period. The rabbi faces a challenge in a district that for many years has been left-leaning and is pitching himself as an untraditional Republican candidate. I'm critical of the Republican obsession with abortion, gay marriage, things like contraception, the social sexual obsession, when really we should be talking about fixing heterosexual marriage, making marital counseling tax deductible, creating a national year of service, giving tax breaks to businesses who allow their employees not to work on Sundays at their home with their children. I'm a values-based person, not a social uh, values, wedge issues kind of guy. The rabbi's been running a vigorous campaign with a number of colorful advertisements, such as his Where's Bill series. Have you seen Bill? You haven't seen Bill? No Bill? Where is Bill? There are other ads, however, that take on a darker tone. Bill Pascrell signed the Gaza 54. This ad, available online through the Shmuley for Congress campaign, features images of Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, a nuclear explosion, and the words, the stakes are higher than ever. But the crux of the advertisement is Bill Pascrell's relationship with religious leader Imam Mohammed Katanani. It's a distraction. There's no question about that. And uh, my record, uh, which he implies many, many times, my record on Israel is perfect. I voted for every dollar that's come before me in 16 years. I'm a defender of Israel. They are a strong ally. He, he's asked you to uh, denounce particular acquaintances and you've said that you don't want it, you're, you don't make an issue out of it, you won't denounce your relationships. What is it that... Why should I denounce a friendship? I mean, if I find out that the individual is doing something wrong, that's a different story. I have no knowledge of that. I've checked with the FBI. It's called pandering. We have one of the largest Arab American populations in the country. And he's prepared to overlook some of what Katanani is in order to get the Arab vote. The congressman and the rabbi are toe-to-toe -to -toe on many issues, and the campaign has been marked by a number of particularly heated debates. But we need to stop giving corporations and companies royalties, tax exemptions, tax cutoffs to send jobs overseas. I think that's insane. You're not a fighter for the middle class when you ensure that they don't have jobs because you create class warfare where people who have the money to invest in businesses and hire workers are just hit with higher and higher taxes, so they're afraid to hire new people. One of the most pressing keystone issues in our current political landscape, however, is an issue on which the candidates mostly agree. The biggest problem in America is partisan gridlock. The biggest problem in America are people putting party before country. Right now we have possibly what's the most obstructive Republican Congress in history. We have now have a historically low rating in terms of passing legislation, and we have just about, um, just about the most blockage of legislation, including on issues like incentivizing to keep, uh, Obama's pro uh, proposals of incentivizing people to keep jobs within the country that have been blocked by a Republican Congress. How do you, f you, you talk about reaching across the aisle, how does that translate for you? How, how does, how, what's your role in that? Look, I'm not here to defend a Republican Congress. I'm here to represent me and my vision and my convictions. Um, I, will, I will say there are people in the Republican Party who feel, maybe, that they have to have a, a, a strong response to what they see as a very strong assault on more and more spending. Well, let, let me inform you that most of my bills are bipartisan. I have a lot of very moderate Democrat Republicans who reach out to me and I reach out to them on bills dealing with health, deals, uh, uh, bills dealing with the infrastructure of the United States, bills dealing with transportation. 
So we need to reach out. But if you are plagued by an ideology, which the Republican far right is, then the rest of the, the few remaining moderate Republicans are afraid to move. The rabbi fights a hard battle in a district that's voted Democratic for nearly 30 years, but that hasn't stopped him from running a tough campaign. Regardless of how that effort pays off, the voters of the 9th District have some uncommon options in their decision this election day. Corey? Thanks, Jack.